Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome back to uh, Let's Play Wild Arms 3. Well, we're gonna teleport over to South Farm. We're gonna be doing the uh, sub the side quests now. Although they are technically they technically not side quests, but because you have to do them eventually. But I mean, they're not required right now, so I call them side quests. Required side quests, I guess. But yeah, we're returning to Gob's hideout. Uh. There's a lot I want to do in this episode, so... Yeah, we're gonna... Try and rush through this a bit. Ow. I already collected uh, my... Uh, gardening crops... Uh, off screen. Yeah, that's where we want to go. Hmm. Still can't get in that door, huh? Not so fast. And we get a tiny flower, but more importantly, we get the wolf idol. Oh crap. There's another item in here. There's a Gimmel coin right here. Nothing in these barrels, I don't think. Nah, I didn't think so. Get a duplicator. And we can shoot that there. Open up that door. And this door is... Yep, the other side. So now, what I will do is I will, uh, meet you back in, uh, Jolly Roger. So that's all we came here for. Alright, time to do some, uh, well, time to get another side quest that, out of the way. Let's talk to Amelia. Now, really what you're supposed to do is talk to every single NPC, and they'll all tell you something. A lot of them will tell you something about a guardian lord. So that's how you're supposed to know what you're supposed to do. In addition to a other side quest that is required. A, a different side quest that's required. So, But I'm just going to show you how to do them all. And uh, yeah, Amelia gave us a sandcraft because she wants revenge. If you talk to her again, she'll uh, tell you where uh, the beast is. But you just go over here. And, well, you can ask her about Balao Kuanaga, but no need. If you don't have at least a Scud Cannon too, you're screwed. Because all Balao Kuanaga does is Mighty Swing, which does a lot of damage to you. And then Critical Heal, which will fully heal himself. And then Current Spark, which kills you instantly. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking with this boss, but whatever. Oh, oh he's going to start with uh, Critical Heal this time. Usually he does uh, Mighty Swing, but... Or maybe Mighty Swing is a counter. Let's find out. No, it doesn't say. Well, whatever. After he uses Critical Heal, he will uh, kill you with Current Spark, so... It's basically you either kill him right away or you lose. I mean, that's that's really basically all there is to it. He has 100,000 HP, but the problem... What the hell happened? Oh, I used the wrong thing. Really? Really? <sighs> Let's see if we can get this harpooner to come uh, before the gunner. Nope. Oh well, you're not going to see my million damage. Sorry. I would have liked to have shown you that, but... 
Of course not. If you get a harpoon attached and you get behind them, you do uh, 999,999. I would have liked to have shown you that, but I can't apparently because I'm not allowed to. I'm actually kind of annoyed by that. I did it before, but then I had to redo this episode because I screwed up in a later part. Whatever. He's got a lot of defense. That's why you have to have a good gun to hurt him. I could have just autopiloted, but apparently I'm stupid. So now that we've done that, we can go back and talk to Amelia and get our reward. I'll try and show it off in a different battle. Well, we get a goddess idol. That's the second of the three statues we can get right now. There are four of them, but you can only get three right now. How you're supposed to know you can only get three right now, I don't know. But, kind of stupid if you ask me, but hey, what do I know? Oh, crap. Wrong way. We went ahead to the east and then the southeast. I could probably upgrade my sandcraft now or get something... I think I could get the best frame or engine or something. I don't know. Head over this way and then head this way. And park at this beach here. And now let's take a call whistle. Get on our nice little trusty horse. And ride away. Follow the train tracks. Uh, the enemies in here are not that hard. I think there's some tree enemy that's weak to fire. Whatever. Not that difficult. Search at the end of the train tracks. Odd that you don't have to... There's some signs along the way that tell you that you're heading towards Gunner's Heaven, but... You don't need to talk to anybody to reveal this place. Which is kind of strange, but I'll take it. Yeah, Oak Warriors. That's the enemies you can fight around there. They are susceptible to... Oh, they're susceptible to Exploder. Too bad we don't have that yet, but still. Yeah, they just attack you physically. Not a big deal. They can drop uh, amulets, if you care. So let's uh, let's head on into the Novice lead League. You have 25 turns to uh, win this battle, but that's more than enough time. And uh, unfortunately, if you do go past 25 turns... You literally are not told, so you just have to beat the whole, beat all five battles, and then you're told that it's past the turn limit, which is really stupid. Let's see. All right. If Gallows doesn't have a uh, 112 reflex. At least, then give him uh, Gale Claw. But my guy Gallus has 133 reflex, so we're okay. And basically, sit Defender, Green Thumb is useful. FP save. I'm actually gonna go for Counter Attack here. And we want auto reload and critical hit. Power cancel, of course. And now let's go ahead and uh, don't bother using lucky cards or gallo cards here because uh, all of these enemies here are. Uh, they don't give any experience or gallo, so. No big deal. Oh, right. I want to move uh, Fire Rage over to Gallows because I want to. Uh, well, you'll see. Let's uh, Mystic a full carrot. It really doesn't matter what you do. Extension Fragile. Oh, I wanted to quick Clive. 
stupid me. Cancel that. Cast Quicken on Clive. That'll help him out for uh, the upcoming battles. Fortunately, Jet has FP save, otherwise uh, I'd be pretty angry right now, but that's okay. Ah, I'm not concerned about that. Let's go ahead and uh, get Fire Rage over to Virginia. Of course, we're going to nuke them. They're all, susceptible, they're all completely susceptible to Fragile, so no big deal. Replay uh, Gallows, or Clive, Mini Carrot from Gallows. Go ahead and uh, shoot him. Good job, uh, Clive. Well, he's dead. Didn't see that coming. Alright, so let's, uh, guard up there and, uh... Oh, right, we want to move GC now over to Gallows. That can move back to Clive. And... Yeah, you're going to have to do that. Full carrot. No, oh, let's waste this turn, I guess. You do not want to shoot him, so... Basically, Wendigo counters any physical attack with a... Uh, hammers away. Well, hammers away in return, but it's the same thing as his normal attack, but... The only thing is... He has an attack bonus on from the start. I think he has hyper on him. Which is basically the generic attack buff. So, uh, you can erase that if you like, but I don't see a point. Just stick with magic and he won't counter. Plus, he's pretty weak even with that attack bonus. And Clive's uh, pretty strong with magic, so... Yeah, 500, not bad. Feeble Mind, unfortunately, does not work, so... Yeah. Don't bother trying that. Not gonna work. Keep up with the wind attacks, I guess. That should kill him. He doesn't have that much HP. Yeah, he's dead. Jumps to his feet and explodes. That's kind of weird, but whatever. Alright, for these guys. Uh, these guys are called Shambling Mounds. I think they can bronze you, which actually is a problem in this battle because it'll stick around long enough to actually have an effect. Because it'll it'll stick past the this battle, and uh, you'll actually have to remove it. So it's like the only time bronze is ever threatening. So to avoid that, this is what we're gonna do. Uh, let's leave Geoclaw on Gallows. Summon Fiery Rage. That's all you have to do. That'll kill him. Simple. Thank God it defaults to yes. Unlike that stupid owl that defaults to no and then all of a sudden changes to yes for that one scene to make sure you're paying attention. I mean, it's so stupid. Stupid owl.
Alright, for this guy. For this guy, you would want to, uh... Make sure we're protected from, uh, poison. And eh, minus well protected from disease. Everybody should be able to be protected from, uh, poison, of course. And we want to keep Gale Claw on, uh, Gallows there. That would be, uh, helpful. Let's go ahead and, uh, use a full carrot on Virginia. Reply Gallows and cast, uh... Oh, you know what? Feeble Mind works here, so let's cast Feeble Mind. And then let's cast Inspire. He starts with a deep. No, he doesn't. That's the next guy. Um... Yeah, just attack. You could Virginia Nuke if you wanted to, but it's probably not needed. If I had it set up, ready to go, okay, I probably would have, but... Uh, actually... I will set it up. I'll cancel Five's turn and have him cast Fragile. Ow. Quit it. This will probably kill him. Eh. Oh, it did. Okay. Wasn't quite sure. It was going to be close. Nah, not really. He only had about 3,000 HP left. And now time for the final battle. This guy has a, uh, I guess you could say a, uh, where's my Holy Root? I cast Clearance, but I don't have, uh, enough FP. This guy has a, uh, oh, what do you call it? He has, uh, something. I'm not going to bother removing that. He has a defense plus bonus. He has shield on, so... And I, and he'll just keep casting shield anytime you remove uh, his uh, defense uh, buff. So, the Virginia Nuke's not going to work here. It's only going to do, like, 50 damage times 10, so... 500 damage, so that kind of sucks. I mean, I guess that's... No, nah, that sucks. <laughs> he is weak to win, though, so... Uh, yeah, that's something we can do. Obviously, if you use Valiant, that won't matter, then just do the Virginia Nuke, but I don't use Valiant, so I'd rather not have low HP. Maybe that's just me. Unless I'm going to get a really big bonus out of it, I don't see the point. Of course, later on I can get a really big bonus out of it, but that's uh, a different thing entirely. So let's go ahead and use, uh, where is Clearance? Oh, what are you doing? Fire Ridge should be back on Clive at this point, come on. There we go. Let's use... What are you doing? Stop that. Let's replay and use Vortex. You can go ahead and use a Wind Gym as well. With that uh, defense bonus, there's uh, really no reason not to... Uh, really no reason to use uh, physical attacks here at all. These are that defense bonus that you really can't get rid of. He's got 7,000 HP, which is a lot, but Gallows will uh, really tear through that, so it doesn't really matter. Maybe uh, a summon of uh, Gale Claw might be uh, a good idea. Um, at 100 FP. I mean, Gallows will probably do, you know, I don't know, 10,000 damage with that? Probably one shot him.
Let's go ahead and uh, replay Virginia. And uh, let's go ahead and do that, actually. I'm curious as to how much that'll do. I know it'll do a lot, so... Yeah, you know, summon Gilclaw, use Wind Gems, kick Double Cast, um... Vortex. Whatever, it doesn't matter. As long as you're taking advantage of his Elemental Weakness, you should be fine. This episode is going to go a little bit long, but... That's okay. I want to get the last uh, statue. Oh, wow. 5,000. Not bad. Uh, 4,600. That's a lot of damage. And he dies, and uh, you win. That's all you gotta do. Simple. The other leagues, not so much. An item scope, alright. That's what we came here for. And, uh, well, let's check out this area over here. That must be where they keep the monsters, and see what else they have to keep here. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see if there's any dialogue for that. Alright, let's, uh... Let's head on over to, uh, Gemstone Cavern, which I'm gonna teleport to, uh, Humphrey's Peak. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna teleport to Humphrey's Peak. Feel free to use all of your warp stars. There doesn't matter at this point, so... Or not Humphrey's Peak. I'm going to teleport to East Highlands, so... Let's just do that. And we got to jump this crevice. Come on, horse! This is so stupid. Why doesn't it jump? Oh, God. There's no excuse for it to act this way. Apparently, they didn't care about testing their horse jumping mechanics. No, of course not. God forbid we test the entire game, right? Sorry, there's just no excuse. With all those people, I mean, hire more testers. Come on. I don't understand why we accept so many bugs and glitches in this day and age. Freaking Skyrim, not Skyrim. Skyward Sword has a game-breaking glitch. I mean, that should be inexcusable. It really should be. That should be unacceptable in this day and age. Like, like Skyrim's... All of its bugs. It should be unacceptable. It really, we shouldn't accept trash like that. Not that they're bad games, but I mean, come on. All that money you can't bother to test your game? At least patch the stuff in this day and age. Of course, the Wii can't patch anything because Nintendo's so far behind the curb these days, it's ridiculous. They're abandoning their uh, motion controls, which, thank God. Anyway, we uh, search here. You need the item scope for that, you get the Lion Idol. Hate motion controls. And I'm going to teleport back to uh, Midland Station just because I don't feel like going back through there. So, anyway, um, let's go to where we, well, let's go to where we need to go. Now that we have three idols, we can uh, get some more mediums. We'll do that next time. Uh, for now, I think Hal tells you that uh, the Guardian Lords are also housed here. Kind of odd that you wouldn't that you wouldn't be told that before, but whatever. This is what we're going to be doing next time. So next time we'll get some more mediums. This is Ryzen signing off. Thanks for watching, everyone.